Uh, it is day two of the Minnesota State right. Fair, and with the huge crowds that we are expecting throughout the weekend, uh, getting to and from the fairgrounds can be a little bit tricky. It can be, and it can be uh, a little uh, anxiety field filled at times. Uh, parking lots are open for the day. They opened at 6 this morning. Our Saquon joins us now from one of those parking lots, and we know it has been a steady stream. Am I right, I Say? I don't have a machine. A steady stream indeed, Tommy B. Yes, we are here at the parking lot right off of Como Avenue. And just look, I mean, drivers have come on in. They actually started lining up outside this parking lot at around 530 because they know better, right? These are diehard Minnesotans who come to the fair year after year, and they know to get here earlier, at least most of them. I want to do uh, uh, give you a quick check at the gates here this morning, too. If you take a look around, you can see uh, there are basically no lines right now. You can see that a lot of people have gone in. So just a quick look at the gates. Uh, these drivers are still coming on in. I will say just a quick glance at the parking lot. It looks like things are full, but actually some workers I was speaking with uh, say that they're expecting these lots to be full in about an hour at 9 o'clock, and that's what they saw yesterday. This lot specifically was filled up entirely by 9 o'clock yesterday. Now, we did talk with some people who had some poor experiences when it comes to the parking lots in the past. They learned the hard way, and others, they say they're just prepared. Take a listen. We left later, and we had to go outside parking or whatever. Even though we pay here, it's easy to get in on the fairgrounds versus walking two or three blocks away from stuff like that. I'm well prepared. I don't come to the state fair to do the carnival or the food. We come for the animal shows, and those start at 8 o'clock. So we know to be here very early to wish the kids well before they show their animals. Yeah. So for those of you who do decide to drive here and park on site, get here early. Again, if you're not leaving your house in the next 10 minutes, I don't know if you'll be able to find a spot because it is first come, first serve. It's 20 bucks per car. There are several lots off of Como, Randall, and Hoyt. The State Fair does update the status of these lots pretty frequently on their website, and spots will, of course, reopen as people leave. Motorcyclists, you actually have your own designated motorcycle lot off of Como. You can park there for 15 bucks, or you can come on out to these regular parking lots and pay 20 bucks. And then for those of you who plan to bike to the fair, there are several bike corrals you can leave your bike at for free. They're located at Gate 9 along Como, Gate 2, and Gate 16 along Randall. Now, for those of you who don't want to have to find a parking spot, deal with those headaches, you do have some easier and cheaper options, including the free park and ride buses. You can get on one of those at 31 different locations uh, near the grounds. They run from 8 in the morning until 11.30 at, at night. Uh, the fair also offers its own express bus service, so 5 bucks will buy you a round trip from one of its six stops around the metro. We do have some more information right now on our website, fox9.com. Again, here's a look for you at the Como parking lot. You can see still a big line of drivers coming on in here. A lot of people are excited to get in for day two. Also keep in mind, there might be some headaches when you leave the parking lot as well. So keep that in mind. Maybe there are some other options that you might want to consider. Mm -hmm. at, least, yeah. to at least that guy gave you a thumbs up. Right. Yeah, that was a people thumbs are up, excited. Right? That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So just you know, gotta have a lot of patience if you're no. planning on coming out here to the fair. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you, Say, as always.